as fans were filling up the VBC for a Havoc game, part of the outside of the building collapsed. Everyone inside was forced to evacuate just before 6 tonight. Luckily, no one was hurt, and the Havoc game went on as planned with a 30-minute delay. Still tonight, we don't know what caused part of the walkway to fall. Way 31's Megan Reyna joins us live from the Von Brown Center. Megan, how are people reacting to what happened? Well, Najra, right now, caution tape is still up. Where the damage is behind me is at the Bud Light Cafe. That's where Havoc fans go and gather to eat. And as fans were filling up the arena tonight, that's when a building inspector was looking into what exactly happened here. Negative. I need a building inspector. Heads were turning, photos were taken as people downtown Tuesday night came across a site they didn't expect to see. I was at the park with my friend and we just heard like a loud sound, you know, loud noises. And we were like kind of worried because, you know, this is the Von Braun, you know. It's the Von Braun. Construction work was being done nearby, but it's unclear if it caused part of the Bud Light Cafe to collapse. It appears that the sprinkler system did get damaged, so there was some water involved as well. Um, once the sprinkler system got damaged, it caused our fire alarms to immediately go off. Samantha Nielsen with the VBC says Huntsville Fire and Rescue and VBC staff immediately evacuated the building. A building inspector was able to determine the arena was still structurally sound, allowing fans to go back inside. However, the Bud Light Cafe portion remained closed off. For Havoc fan Andrew Oles, he was shocked but didn't feel nervous going into the arena. I mean, if that fell on a person, that would be very unsafe. But it's not like the building's about to fall. While the debris leaves behind a mess, everyone is thankful no one was hurt. No matter what happens, our priority is always the safety and um, security of our fans. Like, I'm just thankful to be going to another game. This is the last time since, I guess, fall of winter 2019. Fans typically don't enter this part of the VBC, and now we're expected to learn more about what led to this collapse in the coming days. Reporting live in Huntsville, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News. And we are still working to learn what caused the collapse and what safety risks that this might pose to the rest of the arena. We're gonna